When I started Angry Asian Man, I didn't actually even know that what I was doing was like a thing that people could do. Um, that it was even, I didn't know that the term you would use was blogging actually, I just didn't know, it was just a website with my ideas. And so when I started it, it there was no master plan or any kind of grand design of leveraging this thing to become something. It was like totally on a whim, just wanting a place to express myself. But over time, you just saw that people were reading it and traffic sort of started trickling in and you're like, I realized, oh man, I've, I think I've got a following of some kind, you know, and as long as people were reading it, I, I just kept on doing it, you know. And there was never one moment where it like really broke, you know, it broke open and just, it's just gradual over time. And you know, I've been doing it for over a dozen years, which on the internet is, you know, you, we don't remember what happened last week on the internet. Uh, so um, to do it over a decade and a dozen years, 13 years now, um, it's kind of this thing where I just, it, I was sort of just relentless and I just kept on doing it. And so it became a thing, like a destination for a lot of people. This was also happening a part of life, my life, you know, where I was like, what am I going to do with my life? I'm just kind of searching for what was my next thing. And while all the while, you know, so like applying to grad school, applying to jobs, all the while running this blog on the side and really enjoying this. And then coming to this realization, I was like, Oh, this is what I really like. Like I always come back to this. This this hobby is sort of really my passion. It really fuels me, and I'm finding a lot of meaning out of this. So um, that was a kind of an important turning point for me in terms of the the, the blog and, and and how it related to my identity. So the action figure that's on my blog, like that figure, is um, it's a GI Joe action figure. It's Quick Kick from GI Joe. He's like the GI Joe martial arts expert. I always really liked that character because A, he was Asian, and then, um, but I also noticed he was kind of ridiculous in that um, his character design like necessitated that he didn't wear a shirt and he never wore shoes or socks. And I was just like, what the hell? Like, you know, so I remember this one episode of, um, of G.I. Joe where uh, the G.I. Joe team went to the Himalayas or something to fight Cobra and it was snowing and they were in the mountains and still, Quick Kick didn't put on a coat or shoes or socks. I was like, yo man, that's hardcore. That's also ridiculous. Um, so uh, the action figure represents, is, is, I sort of chose it as the unofficial mascot of, of Angry Asian Man because it represents this interesting collision of, of race and pop culture and how it kind of plays out in sort of sometimes really ridiculous ways. And that's the stuff I like to sometimes comment on. I love the explored idea of like writing more, writing a book, it, like going to other um, avenues. And then now I've, you know, I partnered up with ISA TV to do this talk show. It felt like a natural fit in terms of just bringing, taking the blog, taking its, um, some of the content we talk about and then just having a conversation about it in real life with some folks. Uh, it felt like a natural sort of extension of what I was doing. So I don't think there's any one thing that we need to focus on, like and that we need to all galvanize the forces together to do. Because the fact that one thing that I've learned is that we're not all agree on anything. Our, the community, the Asian Pacific Islander community is just too diverse. It spans so many generations, cultures, languages, and ideologies. It's almost kind of ridiculous to put us all under one banner, but you know, we are, we're this family. And so, and like a lot of families, there's, there's gonna be some friction. And so I, I never expect us all to get agree on one thing. The one thing I do think that we, we do need to sort of fight for is this idea of having a voice and then of, of fighting against the stereotype that Asians are, are quiet, silent, not, not, will, not wanting to rock the boat, you know, uh, keeping our heads down. Like that stereotype, that perception needs to stop. I think it's one thing when that stereotype is placed on us by outside forces that we're like, you know, that we are the quiet model minorities. It's another thing entirely when we accept that and we embrace that and we, and we sort of like, oh yeah, I guess we are, like, no, no, that needs, to, that needs to stop. Like, we need to stand up in the face of injustice. And we're not all gonna agree on the same thing. People are gonna be like, we have different priorities. There's gonna be people who are like, you know, I don't know if that's really worth my time. But eventually something's gonna come along where we're like, hey, you and I can agree on this, right? Can we, can we agree that this is injustice? And then eventually, I think there's, you, you build enough coalitions and partnerships and, um, and the injustices are serious enough where you say like, yes, on this particular thing, we can come together. And uh, I don't know what that is, but you know, there is time and place for that. So I, I, I definitely feel like, uh, yeah, stand up, stay angry. I think that 
the K I am campaign, it definitely speaks to the to like the seven, eight, nine year old kid in me who didn't get to see the role models, you know, that, that looked like me when I was growing up. I mean it really speaks to that idea of just like just dying to see someone who's making an impact out there as a kid who loves who loved the media. And I, I you know, I watch TV all the time just being really enthralled by it, but <laughs> would search the background of a city scene just to see like, oh look, there are Asians that inhabit this world. Anybody? Anybody? You know? Um, and so to see people and not just any, I mean, and not just any old person, like people who are making a huge impact in their particular realms and their spheres of influence, it really speaks to that idea that like, yes, you know, we exist, we're in this world and we're doing something and making an impact. Um, that reinforcement and I hope so, I, and I really hope that some some kid is watching, you know, these videos, this campaign, and isn't dis, is, is 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 encouraged and inspired, you know, and isn't discouraged, um, like I was, you know, who can really see that and said like, oh, there's a place for me um, somewhere out there. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it, it definitely makes an impact to just see yourself reflected in some way. Hey guys, so as I was telling you before, I... Hello? Yo, Ryan, this is Randall. Randall who? Of Randall Park. I know you didn't ask, but I came up with some nicknames for you. Yellow Mamba. Sriracha. But it'll be like, Sir Racha. Jessica Gomes. You mean Australian, Portuguese, Chinese, Sports Illustrated swimsuit model Jessica Gomes? Whenever she comes by, it's stuck in bubble guts. Hey, Steven. Hey. hey. Oh, hold on, I'm on the phone, so. Ten. Remember when you asked to be about my skin regimen? Feel my feet. I no, seriously, feel it. Mighty close. No, wow. really. Okay, that's perfect. Honey, I can't find rubies. Just thought I'd try something different. This is a date. This is not a date. This is a date. Hey, sorry I'm late. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? It's like an episode of the dating game. I'll be a cape role model. Awesome, thanks man. Right on. Hey, what exactly do I have to do? Just be yourself. Cool. Do you have to wear pants? Can I be a role model? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I'm serious, but okay. <laughs>It is super cliche, but I went through it. I went to college originally for nuclear medicine. Yeah, right? No, people don't even know what that is. Every time I call my dad, he's like, go do law school. It's so easy. <laughs> law school is not easy, man. Like, um, I can't do that. My mom, she wanted me to be a doctor, of course, but deep down, my passion was always art. We need to be more proactive. Asians need to step up. I mean, it's time. I'm Lisa Ling. You have to check out this campaign. It's at im-campaign.com.